And as Jesus began to tell him here, he said that those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And shall is positive. If we endure with Jesus, there's going to be many that's going to depart from the faith. There's going to be many, going to be many that has turned aside, going a different way. But Jesus said, he said, I'm the way. He said, I'm the truth and I'm the life. He said, if they come up some of the way, the same as a thief and a robber. Lord, not that now we seem like that we live in. Everybody wants to go a different way, but Jesus said he's the way. He's the yes. truth and he's the life. I thank God, Lord God, that one day Jesus got a hold of my life and he won't let me go. But he told me in his word, he said, you've got to endure to the end if you're going to be saved. Everybody, glory to God, wants to go down to the hole of water and glory to God, go down in the name of Jesus. Then they want to, glory to God, they want to take and just come to church. I call it bench warm or something, glory to God. But you've got to endure to the end, just like the sissy said. If church service ain't going on, you ought to have church service at the yeah. house. I tell you, when we wake up in the morning, we are to be eating Jesus. We yeah. are throughout the day, we are to be eating Jesus. Yeah. That's how we're going to endure to the end. The same is going to be saved. I tell you, Jesus is coming back for a church that has made herself ready, yeah. set apart, not looking like the world, not tasting like the world, not doing the things of the world. Jesus said, He's the way, He's the truth, He's the life. I'm yeah. telling you, when all yeah. of these things is coming, He said, Glory to God, it's the beginning of sorrows. Yeah. He said, The end not yet. I'm telling you, there's people that say at the end, they're trying to prophesy and say when the end's going to be. But Jesus said, Lord, they're going to say, here's Christ. And over yonder uh -huh. someone. But he said, take heed, don't go there. Uh -huh. Lord, I'm telling you, people's going after the wrong thing yeah. in this hour. But I Jesus is the only truth. He's the only way. Yeah. Lord, God, that we're going to get out of here. He's my ticket out of here. What yeah. about you? I, I love you. Him. I praise him tonight. I thank you for the opportunity. I tell him, I said, Lord, you open the doors. I'll take to the gospel of this land and dying world. Because Jesus is coming. He's coming after a people that has made yourself ready. Yeah. Set apart for the God. Consecrated in the word of God. Not looking like the world. Not talking like the world. Not doing the things of the world. Jesus is coming. Are you going to endure? Are you going to endure to the end? Lord God, just like Paul when he's out there on the sea, Lord God. Gee, I tell you, he said, except you abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. We got to abide in Jesus. But we're not going to be saved in this hour that we're living in. Amen. We got something near to do. Yes. Yeah, we do. Every little trial comes up. We want to throw the towel in and quit. Yeah. It ain't no time to throw the towel in and quit. Jesus told us in his word right here that we got some endurance to do. Yes. We ain't home yet. Everybody thinks we're home, Lord God. I came to Jesus. I went down the water hole. But you ain't home yet. You got some endurance to do. Yes. Lord God, you got to endure to the end. Then you'll yes. be saved. I tell you, Lord God, the people is as fallen by the wayside. Lord God, this hour that we're living in. Why? Because the word of God's not preached. It's preached and not under the Lord the Holy Ghost power of God. We need to be unadulterated the word of God in the hour that we live in. That we can live that by, that we can grow that by, that we can endure that by. I tell you, this world needs Jesus to see them. Yes. We got to endure. If there ever was a time, Brother Bob, is what we're living in today. We got some endurance to do. Every little thing that comes up, Pat, we can't throw the towel in. Come on. We can't lay down on Lord God. He said, take up your cross daily. Lord God, he didn't say once a week or twice a week. Jesus said, take up your cross daily. Hey. And follow Hallelujah. me. We got to follow Jesus all the way. All the way. Lord God, Jesus went all the way for me. Hey. I'm going to go all the way, Brother Bo, for him. When he was going up the hill, he turned and stood around and looked at the women. He said, weep not for me, but weep for your children and their children. Lord God, we got some weeping to do. Uh -huh. We want to get a family in, uh, but we don't want to be no endure. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, it's time and high time uh, that we endure in this hell yeah, yeah, and walk yeah. with Jesus uh, all the way. Don't let down on nothing. Amen. 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 Preach a little bit, brother. Amen. Amen. Jesus is coming. Good work. Do we believe that Jesus is coming? Amen. He's coming back after people that's made yourself ready, Brother Bo. That's not looking to the right. 
They ain't looking to the left, but they got their eyes centered upon Jesus. They got their eyes upon the prize. I tell you, it's time for us to get our eyes on the prize. Who's the prize? It's Jesus. If you're ever going to make heaven your home, you got to get your eyes upon Jesus. You got to seek Him with the whole heart. He said, if you seek me with the whole heart, He said, I'll be there with you. You got to seek Him in this hour that you're leaving and seek you first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all They're seeking the wrong thing. Yes, That's why they can't endure to the end. Jesus said, when you hear of these wars, yes. nations are going to be arising against the nation. Is it not happening today? Yes. I'm telling you, glory to God, Jesus is soon to be coming. Are you ready? You say, well, I've heard it for years. Yeah, I've heard it since I've been a little boy up. But he's still coming. Yes. He's still he's God. Still he's still sitting on the throne. Yes. And he's coming back after a church that has made herself ready to apart from this world and not looking like the world and not tasting like the world and not doing like the world. Peter, James and John, those boys didn't let down. No, they didn't. When they was tucked and they preached the name of Jesus, when they preached about the Holy Ghost, Speaking it with other tongues. Has the spirit gave others. When they done the miracles. All these things that they done with the devil. Do you know what happened? They had to endure some hardness as a yes. good soldier. Yes. They had to endure some hardness as a good soldier. Yes. Yes. To me. I'll tell you we got some endurance to do. It's taking over again for God. The no, no. daddy's been on his way over 40 some years. But he's still got some endurance to yes. do. He's still got to go. Yes. Mom and daddy's still got to go.
Jesus is still coming. Help us, Jesus. When, when Peter and James, or Peter and John, thank you, Lord. When they went up to that gate that was called beautiful. You know what happens when we get amongst the crowd? Certain people, we won't say nothing. Right. But in the third, third chapter, the book of Acts, there was a miracle that took place. There was a man, Lord God, that received strength in his ankle bones. He laid at the beautiful gate. He begged every day. He was there for just one something. But here come Peter and John having by his way. I thought about this, Brother Dale. No doubt maybe Jesus passed by his way when he walked here. Are you listening to me? But there's a time for us to stand up for the word of God. And here happened Peter and John by his way. Lord God, he was expected to receive something. And old Peter said, look on us. Look on Come us. On. I tell you, we got something in Jesus. We need to tell this lost and dying world, that look on us. They're looking for something to receive. It's time to tell them, look on us. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, has help and God. Lord God, and the Bible says that immediately his ankle bones received strength. In Jesus' name. Then they was examined. Here it comes. They had to endure. Yep. They was commanded not to preach, not to teach in this name. Is that not what's going on today? Right. Amen. You know what they say? You're too hard. We can't live that. We can't live that. You can't. No. But if you get the Holy Ghost in fire, can. Amen. Oh, you can live it. Yes. There's a Holy Ghost that's keeping me alive. Yes. You better hear me, glory to God. If you've got the real, genuine Holy Ghost in fire, when you begin, I've told the Lord God many times, if you take a mess up, if you sing it, whatever you want to call it, glory to God, the Holy Ghost will check you. And it gets you right back in check. Yes. It'll let you know who you are. I tell you, I preach the message here not too long ago. Do you got the Holy Ghost or does the Holy Ghost got you? When you get out of line, the Holy Ghost got you. He'll put you back in line. Oh, you hear me, Lord God? You got to endure to do. We got to endure to the end. Then you'll be saved. But here the boys got examined. All the chief priests, all of them, they knew. Brother Bo, they knew. That this was a notable miracle before their eyes. They could not get away from it. Think that how God works? He'll put it to where even you can't get away from it. Either you're going to lie and deny God or you're going to endure it to the end. Amen. But old Peter told them it ain't one where their power or one where their mind, right. but by the name of Jesus. Yes. Bring this man to your home. Even his parents. Ask him, he's of age. Yeah. What's people doing today? Ask them, they're of age. Mm -hmm. We got some endurance to the church. I include me. Amen. But now we got endurance to the end. Yes. It don't matter if it's 20 years from now. Right. And we're still gathering together in this little building. We better be endured with Jesus. Yes. We got to keep yes. endured hardness as a good soldier. Good soldier. If you want to make heaven your home, you got to be a good soldier. Yes. And you got to endure when hardness comes your way. Yes. You got to say, no devil, I ain't taking no deal Come with on. you. I'm walking with Jesus. Yes. I'm going to stay talking with Jesus. Yes. That's what Peter had done when, the, when all the elders came to him and began to say, Lord God, don't you preach? Don't you teach? Don't you do nothing? in this name, but Lord God, when they took the weapon, they took the stripes, they was beat for the name yes. of Jesus, and the very next day when they got out, they went right back Come to the on. people, and hey. was preaching the same thing, they were preaching Jesus hey. again, they weren't the spirit of the devil. Amen. You can't be a spirit of the devil. Amen. You get a spirit of the devil, he'll whip you from one side down the other. Run you out of your own house. My brother. You got to let the devil know who's got authority. Amen. 
Right. Jesus said he gave us power. Over all. Did he say over part? No, all. He said over all the powers of the enemy. Amen. Amen. And nothing by any means shall harm you. Nothing. They ain't nothing. Nothing. If you'll take Lord God and endure with Jesus, it don't matter. I'm taking Paul. Paul Come was on. stone left for dead. He was beat with rods. He took many stripes. He was in prison. He was at sheep But hey. Lord God, he had never, he wasn't forsaken. Jesus was with him all the way. And Paul endured. He was still on that ship where he met two seas. When God shows us something, Brother Paul, we got to stick with it. Paul instructed them, take your little meat for strength. In other words, there's something to fix in the cup. And what happened when they come to this place? The Bible says they tried to run to bring the ship. They tried to bring it around, but they couldn't do it. When they come where these two seas met. And they got ready to just slap down these little boats. That's what people's doing today. Thank you, Lord. They're letting down these little boats and jumping in and getting out of the big boat that they're shipping right. in, which is in Jesus. Come on. But Paul said, the Lord told him, except you abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. There's too many people that's jumping out of the ship yes, and no, not enduring no, no. what Jesus has supposed to endure. Come if you on. just go through things, that's the reason nobody can go through nothing with the hell. Or if they're not strong enough, they won't go through the valley. They won't go through the fire. Jesus is right there with He said he'd never leave you, never forsake you. He's going to go with you all the way. All the way. Even to the end of the world. Amen. If we're taking half in our life. You know what he's got to be in your life? He's got to be number one. He won't be number two. Right. He's got to be number one. Number one. Number one in your life. If his word says you got to do this, yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Help, help my unbelief. If you don't bring the plate, pray that way. Say, help my unbelief, Jesus. Right. Lord of God, it's time that we look to his word of God and believe it and start eating the word of God like the Bible says. Grab that book and put it in there and eat all of it. There's times, Lord of God, oh, it's sweet here. It's sweet going off here. But when it comes to your house, when you get down on the inside, oh, you missed it to me. When you get down in here, sometimes it's bitter. But we still got to live it. We like the sweet. But Lord God, what about when it falls in that stomach? When it falls in there and it falls into our house, you still got to eat it up. You can't cast it to a side. You still got to eat Jesus. You know what happened? Paul stood up and told him, You got to abide, boys. You know what's happened? But they missed it. I forget how many souls it was. I think it maybe it's over 200. Maybe 276 souls that's on that boat. Don't hold me to that. We'll go back and read it. It's in Acts, I think, chapter 26. There's a lot on there, but you know what he done? Jesus taught him here. And the first, we get it right here. In verse 4, he said, Take heed. There's one thing you do. A lot of people are taking heed for the boat. But when Paul spoke to him on the ship, they took heed. You know what they did? They cut the ropes loose, let the boats fall. They dropped yeah. off the boats. And even though. We look and we say, Lord, I'm getting broke all to pieces. I heard a message here, I'm broken here Sunday. But Lord, I'm getting broke all to pieces. Do you know what happened? When you're getting broken, hold on to one little piece. Right. Oh, Swing your way to shore. Right. Oh, yeah. He said, look here, when Jesus spoke to Paul, I can say it that way, angel of the Lord, that's Jesus. 
When he spoke to Paul, you know what happened? He said, if these that buy in the sheep, they want none of them be lost. Come on. They want none of them. Boy, God, that was lost, that was on that ship. Every one of them made it to shore. Yeah. But you know what happened? Glory to God, Paul didn't deny Jesus when he came to the shore. He came to a place where Paul Barings was. And you know what happened? Glory to God. On. They was out there getting their sticks and Paul was. But there was a serpent that lashed a hold of him. Glory to God. They lashed a hold of Paul. And when he got it over the fire, you got to get some things over the fire and shake it off in the name Come of on. Jesus. And let the devil know that glory to God. You got no power over you. You can just shake it off. Let the Holy Ghost the power. But Paul just shook it off here. They just stood there looking. This snake was poisonous. It wasn't very long people would drop dead by the boat. They was looking for a Paul to die. But he didn't die. He endured. He was a daring right there. Hey, that's what we got to do. We got to keep on enduring. Yeah, Lord, yeah. all I know, Paul didn't look down and said, Oh, Lord, it beat me. Uh -huh. What am I going to do? Uh -huh. He just began to shake it off yeah. in the fire. When the devil bites you, Lord God, shake it off in the fire. Uh -huh. When he comes your yeah. way, yeah. shake it off in the fire. Yeah. Lord God, you got to get in the Holy Ghost yeah. fire yeah. and shake it off. Yeah. It's coming high time yeah. for the church to come alive. Lord God, yeah. we're yeah. alive yeah. this culture yeah. in this kingdom. We're in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we ain't dead children. We're alive children. I tell you, we're alive in Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Come on. Good work. When Satan bites us, let's shake. Come on, brother. Huh? Amen. Hold up the name of Jesus and say, Lord, I'm dead. Jesus said to take heed. He said, let no man deceive you. Right. Lord, oh, we can't let nobody deceive us. If you don't line up with the word, you know what I always tell them? Get the word of God. Study it behind the preacher. Study it behind that brother Larry. Lord, God, study it behind your pastor. It's time and hard time that we look. If, Lord God, we err not knowing the scriptures of God. That's why people can't walk in the word. They can't walk in truth and righteousness. They can't because they err not knowing scripture. If we study to show ourselves approved, when the old tempter comes, we can shake him off. Yes, amen. I told him, and I continue to tell the devil. You know what he tries to do? He'll try to do the same way. Yes, he does. If you got the Holy Ghost and fire of Jesus Christ, the devil's going to try you every day. Come on. And I always tell him, I say, Glory to God. If the devil ain't at you, Paul said every time he went to do good, he said evil was present. And if the devil ain't after you every day, you yes. better watch out. He might have you, Lord of God. I tell you, I pray every day. I, Lord, I'm doing something for Jesus every day. I rebuke the devil. I resist you. Yes. Get away from me, devil. You ain't got no power over me. That's what you got to tell him every day. Jesus gave me power over you. Put him in his place. Put him under your feet. And say, I'm going to do it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Look at him and say, devil, it's almost over. That's why you're fighting so hard. It's almost over. And it's time. High time. It's right now. It ain't tomorrow. It ain't next week. Today is the day of salvation. Lord God, if you humble yourself, Lord God, and pray and turn from your weak ways. He said, then I'll heal from heaven. I'll come and heal your land. Right here is your land, Lord God. He said, I'll come and heal your land. What's wrong with people, Brother Neil? They don't want the truth. I don't know for the word of God. But it's time for us to step out and do it with Jesus until the end. And you shall be saved. Oh, that devil ain't gonna like you. It's all right. It's like my daddy said, for you there ain't no love lost. I don't like him either. Right. That's what we gotta get to. We gotta get our mind made up. Get fully persuaded in our own mind. And tell the devil. Jesus said the works that I've done, that I do, and you can do great. Right. 
Do you believe that? Yeah. Amen, brother. We got to take. But the Bible, we get the word in us. He said, try the spirit, see if it be of God. Right. When we get the word in us, look here, if you're sitting on your seat and there's a testimony, well, I wasn't saying, I was fixing to come out and say, because victory is mine. Amen. We ought to have a song. We ought to have a testimony. We ought to have something Amen. for Jesus when we come to the house of God. Amen. That's true. If you just stand up and read a scripture, Stand up and read it. You need the devil's eyes shut. Yes. Right, brother That's the truth. Come on. Brother. That's why people's defeated, Brother Dale. Amen. We overcome Amen. by the word of our testimony, testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Yes. Without Jesus, without that blood, Come on, brother. huh? where would we be at today? We'd be lost. We'd be lost without Jesus. And it's just once when we get him, we got to hold on to him. And we got some enduring to do. When all hardships come, what comes to the family, Mother Bo? We got to endure. It's sad, but we still got to endure. I tell you, we can't give up. We can't give in the devil. That's where he wants us to be at. What about you? It don't matter what it comes when hardship comes to our family. It ain't no time for you to throw the towel in and say, well, Jesus can't help me. He can't help you, Lord God. If you speak, keep speaking, can't, 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 can't in the Bible. Why don't you, Lord God, get out of can't get in? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes, amen. You know what a believer is? It's a doer. Yes. So if you're going to endure to the end, you've got to be a doer of the word, not just a hearer of it. Right. Don't be a, just a hearer and go out the door and do what you want to do next week. That ain't Jesus. He don't just see in the church house. Huh? I'm sure Brother Dale tells you the same thing. But I'm not here to please Brother Dale. I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please Jesus. Because, Lord God, one day I'm going to stand before him. And Lord, I'm going to give an account for everything that I've done in my life in this body. I'm going to give an account for it. I didn't come to pick on nobody. I come to give you a word because that you can make it. You can do all things through Christ which strengthens you if you endure to the end. How many people today not throw it. I pray for it. There are old church. There's some that has not been there in a long time. But I don't pick on them. I stop by and visit and say, I'd love for you to come back. Yes. Every morning I pray. Right. Lord, I want to see you back in here. Some of them been there for a few years. I don't know where they're at. With God. Yeah. See them from time to time when I do. I'll be this tool. Keep praying. Some of them say keep praying. Some of them try to talk down the aisle. Some of them are somewhere else. Good work. Amen. Well, we got some endurance to do. You know what? We, if, if we had the power to roll back hell and let our family see, you see this church here, it wouldn't hold. Right. This church would not hold the people to get in here to hear the truth. You know why the church building's not it, it's not full anymore? Because of lies. It ain't just here. Okay. Well, the truth's that you just gonna have a few. Okay. Right. It ain't just here. Come down church visit, you'll see. Amen. But those that endure to the end, he said the same shot and say. Amen. But you got too many of this. It's too hard, I can't take it. Yeah. Throw it in. Say, you know what they're saying? I'm yours, dude. Uh -huh. That's what people say, I'm yours, dude. I can't make it. And Jesus, right there at the same time, tell me you can make it. You can do all things. My word tells you you can do all things. Paul didn't give up. Peter, James, and John, the boys didn't give up. When Paul instructed Timothy, he didn't let up on Timothy. He didn't let up on Timothy. 
Daddy didn't let up on me. Brother Larry ain't letting up on his boys. I just said it because they're here. We got to endure hardness. Daddy didn't say, son, I'm a preacher. You can make it on my coattail. Uh -uh. He said, you've got to be born again, son. Yes, he did. That's what's wrong with this world. They've got to be born again. Yes. Jesus told Nicodemus, he said, you be born again of the water. Must. And the Spirit, he said, you will no wise in Amen. Glory to God, people's just getting born. Glory to God, they're going down in their liquid grave. And they're not taking on the name of Jesus. They're taking on titles. Are you hearing me? They're taking on titles. Come but on. we've got to take the name of Jesus. Yes. When people went out on the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, glory to God, there was something that happened there. There was a sound from heaven as a mud rush of mighty men. But before this happened, they was in one place. They was in one accord. They was in unity up there. They know what Jesus told them to do. He said, you go and tarry in Jerusalem till you be entombed with power from on high. And here come the Holy Ghost. There was a sound that came from heaven and swept in our wilderness out. And it filled the house where it was sitting. And it set up on each one of them. Call the tongues of the by fire. Call the tongues of the fire. And they begin to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them letters. Glory to God. I tell you, there ain't nothing wrong with the Holy Ghost. I tell you, the Holy Ghost is right. The tongues is right. I tell you, this is what we need. We need the Holy Ghost and fire. Everybody that was there, you thank God that what he's doing. Every nationality, everybody was there. The leaders was right there in Jerusalem. They said, are all these Galileans? In other words, how can we hear them speak in our own language? You know, a lot of people say they spoke in Galileans, but God gave them ears to hear different. Right. Whichever way it was, it fell on their ears. But the Bible says they spoke with other tongues. I'll tell you what the Bible says. Yeah. Of what man says every day. The Bible says they spoke with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. They said, some of them have to say, these men are drunken. Could you imagine the Holy Ghost following 120? in the house when the Holy Ghost filled one or two and it feel like Lord God and you just go up one side of the building back down the other. Glory to God, I tell you, could you imagine 120 of them? What a shout now they had in that upper room. Lord God, I'm talking about tongues that was flowing out of them. I said it was going so broad like the Bible says. Lord God, they heard them speak with other tongues and they were standing in amazement. But Peter began to stand up and they said, these men are not drunk as you suppose. See, this not the third hour, but this is that which was spoken about yeah. the prophet Joel. Yeah. And in the last days, I will pour it upon my spirit upon all. Jesus is right. 
There's no other name. Bible teaches in Acts 4.12. No other Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. But that was just right after the one that received strength in his ankle bones. Because Peter said if we be examined this day, This is what's going on. They endured. It didn't matter. When they kept telling them, don't preach, don't teach, don't do nothing in the name of Jesus. You do everything you want to, but don't you do nothing in the name of Jesus. Why? Because the devil, he's subject to that man. Amen. Amen. He has to obey because there's authority, there's power, there's all power in the name of Jesus. You know what's wrong? And it's across America. It's across the world. They have a form of godliness. But they deny the power thereof. Where's the power? It's in the name of Jesus. They deny the name of Jesus. Jesus is the Holy Ghost. If you ain't got the Holy Ghost, you need the Holy Ghost. Right. Filled with the Holy Ghost speaking, 
in other tongues. Go, go study the book of Acts now. Every time that they received the Holy Ghost, they spoke with other tongues. That's what the Bible says. Lord God, in, in Acts right there in chapter 2, they spoke with other tongues. Lord God, when you're going down to Acts chapter 8, they spoke in other tongues. When you go to Acts chapter 10, they spoke with other tongues. When you go to Acts chapter 19, they spoke with other tongues. Uh, they had received the Holy Ghost. Uh, they said, we even heard that there be such Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 19. Then Paul said, then what was you baptized? Uh, he said, unto John's baptism. Uh, Lord God, and he took them down and he baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I tell you, Lord God, it's time for us to think on the name of yes. Jesus uh, and represent you. Be representatives for Jesus in this hour that we're living and endure to the end. Paul represented him. When they come through there, if we see somebody, we can take and use the word, not trying to cut them up, but use the word to help somebody. Right. Paul just see, seen a door open. A lot of times we see a door open, we'll say nothing. But Paul seen a door open. It's like a foot there. Have you boys seen, received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Come on. Come on. They got your attention. And I'm talking about this was disciples of John the Baptist. Somewhere they missed church. Oh yeah. They had to. Because they hadn't heard about the Holy Ghost. And John the Baptist preached it because he said, There's one coming up. Who shoe like shall not want to stoop down and unbuckle. Who shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire? So right there, John preached the Holy Ghost. They missed church. Lord, Lord, that's the phone of people. They need to stop missing church. And they can get out here and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And they can endure to the end. Yes, Amen. Jesus. Thank you. I'm give you this in the name. Do you love Jesus? Yes. yes. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. He wasn't just talking about the Ten Commandments. Amen. He was talking about the Word. My word. And he said, not forsaking the sealing yourselves together. Amen. Here's even one the of the old they, they this is one of the commandments they just throw away. Yes. The church the time's Lord. coming. It's coming. It's coming. Every excuse that they are is coming. And they won't have it, Lord God. But it's time, Brother Dale. Boy, it's time and high time that we need to assemble ourselves in the house of yes. God. Even Good more Lord. as you see the day approaching. Yes. It's time to say, devil, I'm going to church. Yes. And no matter what you say, I'm going out to the house of God. Yes. I'm going out to the filling station. I'm going to get hooked up to the Holy Ghost. And let him put me full, Lord God. And the Holy Ghost that I can endure a few more days. And I can go a few more days. I'm not home yet. The devil tell you you're home, but you're not home yet. I want to go to heaven. Amen. But I believe this part of Matthew 24, what he told him. You say that's in red? Yeah, it's in red. The whole book's Jesus. Yes, amen. Amen. When he said first endure, that's what he meant. And people say, I'm not going to take nothing what the apostle said. Paul said, in your heart, this is a good soldier. He was one of them. Mm -hmm. He was just born out of due season, due time. He was still one of the apostles. We must have endured to do. Amen. Every one of us. Yes, sir. I always tell people, you see me out somewhere? If my light ain't shining, take the word and whip me with it. Wire me out. Her light should be shining. Endure to the end. Jesus is coming. His eyes go to and throw throughout the whole world. He sees everything. Amen. I live on Hounds Creek down Ranger. Way up in the hall. All the trees around the place. You don't get close to the house. You can't see it. God sees it. But I know one that can see right yes, up in the hall, right underneath the trees, right inside my house, and his name is Jesus. Yes. He
kisses everything that I do inside my house, outside my house, wherever I go in my vehicle. He sees you the same as he sees me. His eyes run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Glory to God. And it sees everything, the good, the evil. It sees it all. Come on. So if you ain't in dirt, you better watch out. Matthew chapter 7 might touch you. You might get there. And the devil lied to you and tried to trick you up. And Jesus looked at you and said, I know you're not. Come on. Amen. Huh? There's a lot of people, Brother Dale, that's built on the wrong foundation. This world's full of them. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to win them to Jesus. Right. I want to be wise. If I just win one in a church that I go into to Jesus, that's what we got. It's going to be worth it, Brother Dale. Keep preaching here at Gilbert Creek. Keep preaching the Word of God. Keep lifting up. Hold up that banner high. Yes, Jesus. Let people know up and down this creek here that they need Jesus. Let them know over here. Lord God, in the communities all around that they need Jesus. Jesus ain't dead. He's alive. And he's alive in us. He said, I go away. And I'm going away to prepare. He said, I was the light while I was here. But now he said, I'm going away and you're to be the light. But there's too many people that don't want to be the light. Lord God, they won't leave their light on. When they go out the church doors, they got it on just for a little while in here, but they won't leave it on. When they go out the doors, they won't flip the light switch on and let it shine out of their life. Lord God, it's time to keep the light switch on, shine out of their life, keep the oil burning in their life, because if the oil leaks out, your light's going out. Are you hearing me? If the oil leaks out, your light's going out. Amen. Endure to the end, and you're going to be saved. I love Jesus. I love you all. I love God's people. I count the honor, I count the blessing to be here. Thank you, Pastor, for having us over. God bless you in Jesus' name.